guys, um, someone asked me to do this video, um, of my barrel tack. I will be doing a tack, a tack room tour here soon, as soon as I get my tack room cleaned out. Um, this is just like some of the stuff that I use. I use, um, boots, bell boots, always use bell boots. I swear by them. I have no idea why. <laughs> I just swear by them. Um, I use, um, let me go get the other two bits out. Well, what's the hard one? Sorry, I forgot these. Um, I have a square skirt, skirt, square skirt saddle, which it's a barrel saddle, believe it or not. It just doesn't have the thin horn like most barrel saddles um, do. It's a Saddle King brand. Yeah, Saddle King brand. Hope you can see that. Um, here are my spurs. Raleigh probably won't approve of these. But, I'm sorry if she don't. Usually I use bumper spurs, but my mare don't like them, so I'm using these. Um, usually I use this saddle for show, but here lately I've been using it for practice too. So I can get me another saddle. That has a deeper seat than my other practice saddle. But anyways. And my other practice saddle is for sale by the way. But this right here is an O pad that somebody gave me. Um, it's a good pad. As you can see it's really thick which is required for barrel racing. Um, I use it for mainly practice. And here's the saddle pad that I use for um, Shows and so. This bit, I use it for shows with my custom barrel rings that I made myself. Um, if you want a set of barrel rings like these or any other kind of style that I have, um, you can order them on Facebook at Double C Barrel Rings. Or you can contact me on Facebook and my name on Facebook well I'm not gonna tell you my name on Facebook but if you ask I will like lock your comment like watch your comment or something like that and give it to you that way um, this is the bit that I started my mare with it's a showman's rope nose gag it's like the million dollar bit personally i love it but you have to have really really light hands and it's got a lot of control with it too so if your horse don't need a lot of control i recommend getting the smaller shank one that was just the only one they had so i got it um this is the thing I practice, I've practice. i been practicing in here lately. It's a little S Hackamore. I really, really love this. Um, I'm not a big Hackamore fan, as I've previously said in all my other videos. But I love that Hackamore. I love it. Um, this is my breast collar. It's a um, zebra print. Like my saddle pad. Um, let me take it back for a minute. Sorry, you're on my shirt. If you're watching this video, um, here's my bell boots for shows and stuff. I got another pair, but they're kind of raggedy looking. Um, right here, or 
are like hollows. And they were like, um, $32.99, so about 35 bucks. And they come with that thing, which I'm not really for sure what that's for. I think it's just in case you wash them or something like that. But personally, I love polo wraps. I don't really like boots, and I will tell you why. And the reason why I do not like boots, personally, is because they tend to not last as long as polo wraps. They tend to, like, work within five to six years, and polo wraps have lasted forever, almost. Like, this is a set of three or four euro polo wraps, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with them. And they're what I practiced in and haul and ship to places with. Um, I also use this. I know it's weird, but I use it. It helps them breathe. Just like it helps me breathe. But here are my legacy sports boots. If I use sports boots, I use the legacy. Just because I absolutely love them. Like, they're my all-time favorite. I'm going to show you why. As soon as I can put them open. And if I'm not mistaken, I think Clint Anderson made these sports boots. Came out with the design of these sports boots. And as you can see, they're slowly starting to break. See? But anyways, I think Tim Anderson came up with the design of these sports boots. Um, Colin Taylor has hair on that. I haven't had a chance to try hers yet. But this right here, this goes on the inside, on the outside. And this goes on the inside, and it works kind of like a split boot. And if I use silk boots, I hope he has some. Because I... They love splint boots, and these kind of work like splint boots. And as you can see, this is like really, really soft. Like I can push my finger. Sorry, that came out really tense. Like I can push my finger all the way in there, and it's coming back up. But when you put them on, that right there goes on the heel, on the back of the leg. And I will be doing another how to wrap polo wraps video. But anyways, that's all of my barrel racing pack. Personally, and I'm going to try and get a new tack set. Like, I'm going to try and get a new um, breast collar and I'm going to keep my um, head stalls. Because personally, I don't like a big flashy head stall. On my horses because I think they're pretty without it which is there a lot of people like that mm -hmm. in case you could say we're weird but I don't really care what you want to say about me um but I hope y'all enjoy this video and goodbye